you ain't gonna do right, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell somebody, you ain't doing right. Amen. 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 He said, we're gonna suffer tribulation. Even as it came to pass, and you knew. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, here he goes again, couldn't put up with it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't put up with it. Right. I sent to know your faith. What did Paul say? Mm. I, I, I can't handle it. Mm. I cannot handle all this gossip in your church. Mm. So he says, I cannot forbear. So I sent to know your faith. I wanted to make sure you were going to keep following Jesus Christ. Mm. You know, Jesus Christ never done nothing wrong to you. Amen. What did Jesus Amen. ever do wrong to you? He only died between two thieves. He only suffered. Hey man, got beat. They beat the hell out of him. Hey man, they, uh, hey man, they, they made Amen. fun of him. Ah, well, what did Jesus ever do to you? Nothing. He didn't do nothing. All he ever did was love you, love you, and care for you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. All he cared about. Amen. Amen. Paul says, "I want to. I want to know about your faith." Least by some mean the tempter, talking about the devil, mm -hmm. have tempted you and our labor be in vain. He says, the last thing I want you to do is mm -hmm. quit on God mm -hmm. over some stupid argument that I myself cannot handle. Mm -hmm. I cannot forbear this. Mm -hmm. I can't handle it. Mm -hmm. He said, but just because I can't handle it, hey, you chose to stay in that church. You're stuck in that church. You better learn to forbear, or you better find another church. Hey, Amen. Churches go through seasons, good seasons, bad seasons, all kinds of seasons. You know what? Paul says, I hope my labor wasn't in vain. We go out there, we hand out them tracts, we hand out them, tell them find people to church, and we say come to church, and praise God, we're going to do that for for uh, for about a month. Amen. Every night we're going to go out there, we're going to go out there and hit it every night. Amen. Amen. You don't want to go, don't go. That's fine with me. I can live with that. Amen. But I'm still going to do what God says. Amen. Don't go out there, going to go invite people. Don't go pick them up. You don't want to pick them up, I'll pick them up. All right? I, it don't make no difference to me. I'm just going to do what God says. I want to make sure that the labor was not in vain. That man called me. He said, he said, did you know that Sister Sandy's dying of cancer? She'd only come to church a couple times. She was real uh, embarrassed that she wasn't married to the man that she was living with. She told that man, she says, if you don't marry me, I'm leaving. And she got a trailer right beside him. Same property. She says, you can't, you ain't coming to my bed mm -hmm. unless you marry me. And he was such a scoundrel, he wouldn't marry her. Mm -hmm. Now she died of cancer. I want to go see her. I tell you, that woman, she got it. Amen. She got it. Amen. Amen. I mean, she got it. She didn't come to church that often. I'm not saying she was the greatest Christian in the world. Well, I can tell you this, though. Uh, I know for a fact that she got something out of church. Amen. She got Amen. under conviction and said, No more. I'm not doing this no more. Amen. He said, I want to make sure my labor wasn't in vain. But now when Timothy come from, from you unto us and brought us good tithing of your faith and charity, i got good news. That you have good remembrance of, of us always, designed greatly to see us as we also to see you. He said, you know what I heard, I found, what I found out? He said, the brother had come back and told me, he said, you know what? There's a bunch of people in this church they don't really care for you anymore. He said, but I'll tell you what, there's a whole bunch of people that still love you Amen. and still care for you right. and still believe in you. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Ain't that wonderful when somebody actually believes you and says, why would you make something stupid up and lie to us that Jesus is the only way to heaven? 
Why would he say that if he didn't really mean it? Hey, you know, if I, if I told you everywhere you can go to heaven, if you want to be a Muslim, be a Muslim. If you want to be a Mormon, be a Mormon. If you want to be a Jehovah's Witness, be a Jehovah's Witness. You know what I'd be doing? I'd be lying. I'm a liar. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the light. No man come to the Father but by me. You want to go to heaven, you got to go through Jesus Christ, not me. You ain't going to go through Brother Luke, but you got to go through Christ. Amen. He's the only one. He said, brothers, come back. And he said, even though I couldn't forbear that church anymore. He said, they came back and he said, you still got people here that love you and care about you. What a wonderful thing. What a wonderful thing. I like that. Mm -hmm. He said, they talk about your charity. They talked about the church's love and action. They talked about your faith. He said they had good remembrance about you. He said they had good memories about you. All the good things you did. <clears throat> I like that. When people think good about you. You know, I, I, I don't know. We get crisis and we think everybody's against us. Listen, let me tell you right now. Your friends are always going to be there. My son, he had a little wreck yesterday, fender bender. And my daughter said, she said, are you mad at your son? I said, oh, well, yeah. Absolutely. He said, aren't you worried that he's hurt? I said, yeah. Not really. He didn't sound like he died. I got over there, sure enough, he wasn't dying. You know what? You know who showed up? God. His mama showed up. Amen. His sister showed up. His cousin showed up. I showed up. You know why? Because it didn't really matter whether it was his fault or not. We didn't care. That was my boy. And I was going to check up on him. Amen. Amen. Who cares whose fault it was? Who cares? All I care about, he's walking and talking. The Lord's going to take care of him. Amen. Good remembrance. Good remembrance. I, I, I tell you, I start thinking about, I guess dads do this. Dads, they look at their children, and, you know, my daughters are, in, my older daughters are in their 30s, and I still see them as nine year olds. So every time I see these two, they think I'm looking at these old kids, you know, and all I see is nine-year-olds, all right? Little bitty kids running around the house, you know, running around. And that's just, I'm sorry, that's just the way dads are, okay? Sorry. Yes, I know, they're legal, they're going to be of age, that's fixing to be 18, oh well. But my remembrance, the way I remember, nine years old, and he's always going to be nine years old. My little girl's going to be always five years old. Susie's always going to be five. <laughs> you know what? Those are, the, those are the years I remember. I remember them years. You know what? The church, they said, you know what they have? I remember Paul. I got good news for Paul. Amen. Thank God for that. Therefore, brethren, we were comfort over you all in our affliction. And, dist and distressed by your faith. He said, you know what? We got comfort. When we find out you was remembering us, he said, it helped us. It helped us. I like that. I like that. I like that a whole bunch. I like it. For now, we live if we stand fast in the Lord. You want to live? You want to live for God? You can, but you're going to have to do the stand fast for Him. Is it for wimps? No. If you're a little wimpy boy, a little wimpy girl, you're not going to stand. For what thanks can we render to God again for you? For all the joy wherewith we joy for your sake before our God. What thanks can we render? He said, what can we possibly thank God? He said, we've been thanking God for y'all. I tell you, he said, we just appreciate it. He said, now, have y'all talked bad about it? That's okay. We don't mind. 
And we still give thanks. Thank God. Amen. They're living for God. They're trying to do something for God. And if they want to talk bad about us, that's all right too. Go ahead. Talk bad about me all you want. Nine days praying exceedingly. We might see your face and not perfect that which is lacking in your faith. Oh, he said there's stuff lacking in your faith. Paul says, I see stuff in you that's lacking. You know what preachers hate? Preachers hate people preachers preaching to them. I go to these meetings, sometimes I get mad. Why are you preaching to me? Don't you know I'm a preacher? <laughs> and when a preacher gets preached to, oh baby, they get mad. How dare you tell me the truth? They don't want to hear that. They were lacking. They were lacking in their faith. They just didn't want to admit it. Now God Himself and our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ direct your way unto you. You know, Paul, he told the first, he told the Thessalonica church, he said, I'll tell you what I want. I want God, our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, to direct you. You know what, what a cop does? This way, this way. You ever see a traffic accident? This way, this way. No, no, can't go that way. You know, can't make the U-turn. This way, this way, this way. God wants to make it so easy that you'll figure it out. Now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty simple, so I need direction from God. A lot of times, I, I, and I, I'm pretty hot-headed, too. I can get pretty hot-headed real quick. You get me in the wrong mood, I can get real, I, I, I can get real upset too. And then, I can get real quiet. 